So, Jordan Blatty, the winner of the grand prize at Asbop 10. I'm curious, what's your fascination with Eastern Europe? Because the film that won, the ones that have been submitted for the next edition, what is it? Yeah, right, all Eastern Europe. Um, I would say that uh, I think what I love the most about Eastern Europe, uh, Kiev especially, is there is this um, really powerful and raw energy uh, in this city, as it's um, you know the the youth culture there. It's uh, between 27 and 30 years, uh, right in there, liberated from uh, Russia, and there is this kind of explosion of a new generation, and uh, they are doing incredibly interesting things, and they're great to work with, and they're very inspiring to be around, and uh, yeah, it's a very good environment. And but what was the first... The first reason? Introduction, yeah. A girlfriend or something? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, uh, not exactly. Um, well, not exactly. I, I was in Paris uh, working on something um, and I met a, uh, a Russian fashion designer and she was very interested in Ukrainian fashion as well, and she, uh, or not as well, I mean, she was interested in Ukrainian fashion, she was showing me uh, kind of what was going on there, and when I looked at it, I was like, uh, totally blown away by, I don't know, just, just what I was seeing, it was very different from what I was used to in terms of like Western fashion, and I was, Because uh, you come from where? LA? I come from uh, the state of New Jersey. Where in New Jersey? Uh, originally, I'm from Fort Lee, New Jersey. I've heard uh, of it, but I Fort Lee is. Uh, it's not Soprano country. It's uh, it's not Soprano country exactly. I did live in Livingston later, which is right next to North Caldwell, which is where they shot the. Uh, that was the Sopranos' house. Uh, it was in North Caldwell, but uh, Fort Lee is kind of a strange. Um, half apartment complex, half houses, uh, just on the Hudson River, or just off of the Hudson River. Uh, I lived in an apartment that had a balcony looking at the Manhattan skyline growing up, so that was kind of fun. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you kind of sit there and you like dream about New York when you're sitting at home. Philadelphia, so we were dreaming too. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Um, and then you moved to Paris or you moved to LA first? I, uh, from Jersey, I went to, uh, ended up going to NYU. So I was in New York for about uh, five years. And then uh, I was there, I graduated in 05. In when? In 2005. Okay. Who was the mayor at the time? The mayor was. Was it still? Uh, it, was, it had to be Bloomberg. Yeah. The end of Giuliani, beginning of Bloomberg. So New York was all cleaned up by the time you were there. New York was very, very safe when I got there. Was it uh, the New York I knew? When I. Uh, I mean, you know, it wasn't the New York I grew up with. You know, my family is from Brooklyn, or my entire father's family is from Brooklyn. And uh, obviously, I spent a lot of time in New York growing up from New Jersey. And uh, yeah, crazy, just like a completely different city. Completely different city. In fact, uh, when I was living in the dorms my sophomore year, I was living in Chinatown, and my dad had driven me to my dorm. And uh, you know, he's from Sheepshead Bay, so he was like, are you insane? <laughs> he was so scared. Going down Canal Street, like turning, I was on Lafayette, and he was, uh, he was terrified to, uh, to drop me off there. I was like, no, it's different, Dad. It's not the same. Uh, yeah. What I mean is different. Of course. So then from New York, you moved to LA? Yeah, from New York, I moved to, uh, I drove to Los Angeles uh, with one of my best friends.